Hi, uh, so this is just a, a quick update on the uh, MMO I'm making, um, or MMO systems. Um, I've just finished off um, setting up the persistence part of it, um, so it will now save and load all the player data to um, an SQL database. Um, I know that's not the best way to do it, it's very slow, um, but I'm familiar with SQL, um, so this is something I, I just used it before um, so I'll continue using it. So that was just me registering an account there and I'll just log in to that account with the username and password and I can hit log in there and I will just do post LAN as well. So it will now just load me into my test map just now as well and as you can see there it puts my name above my head and if there was other players playing on LAN or online you would see their name as well. Um, so some things I've worked on um, is just fleshing out the inventory system. Um, so what we do is we pick up some of these coins. Uh, you see we've got one coin. Let's pick another one and we'll then display the, the number there. And what we'll do is we'll just head to the left hand side of the map here and we'll see the, the armor. Um, so the inventory system is fully physics based. Um, as you can see as I add them in it will just find free space. Um, if there's an inventory, if it adds it in an area where the item's already in, you can see it pushes them out of the way. Um, so it is self-filling. So um, with this system, um, if the inventory is full, um, it will push items out the top and just drop them on the floor. So if the items were to get pushed out, it will just jump on the floor there. So I'll just equip uh, some of these items. So we've got different styles of weapons as well. So what I can do is I will just equip this sword. Um, what you can also do is put items on the hotbar and you can equip them from there using the number keys so I'll just press 2 and 3 to put the helmet and the body on and I'll just stick some of these in the hotbar as well just for testing something in a second so what I'll do, I will just attack one of the enemies up here wherever they've gone I'll put some down here there we go so we can fight him we can do some damage and you'll see I'll gain a level and a skill point I'm running back down to get revenge. What I can do is I've equipped my staff now. I'll show you that. So I can equip my staff against them now. Different weapons have different stats, um, depending if they're projectile or not as well. Um, so what I'll do, um, you can see the position of the inventory items there. Um, there's some on the hotbar there, and there's also some currently equipped. Um, what I'll do, is I'll just reload uh, the game, and you'll be able to see it. Um, saving and then in turn loading when I load the game back up after that. So I'll just reload it just now. Okay, and let's just load it back up and we'll just hit login. So it, uh, it should stay on loading until it's fully loaded but I've not got the best of internet so sometimes it's a little bit delayed. Um, right, so there we go and all the items were where they've been left off. Um, this one seems to have flowed away a bit. Um, not too sure why that happened. I'll need to fix that. But as you can see, it's kept what items I had equipped. It has kept them, the ones that were in the inventory as well. Um, as you can see, everything's been saved. Um, so, now that I've got this in place, um, next things I'm going to be working on um, are things like the stats mainly. Um, so different armour pieces will have different stats. Um, different weapons will have different stats. Um, you'll be able to choose from different stats when you level up. Um, there's, I can't remember if I showed this in the last video but um, you can gather um, from trees and things so there'll be wood cutting skills, things like that, um, stuff of that nature. Um, so that's everything for now. Um, I'll see if I post another video anytime soon. Thank you.